Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and day 22 of our Adventures with Noelle series where we are going through six different advent calendars day by day and you guys, it is the last three days so we have three more highlights to do. We were able to highlight each of the six boxes four times. We did four rounds because there are 24 days and I will be posting a link in the description box for the little multiple choice quiz to uh, show me that you were there with me for this whole entire journey. It's pretty easy you guys, basically. Basically, the top scorers are going to be eligible to win a little mystery bundle of some of the items from these advent calendars because I want to share the joy with all of you and of course I do hope that you will join me for my regular unboxings at 2 p.m. Pacific every day and of course I also am hoping that you will join me for the 12 days of Noel series which will be for the 12 days of Christmas and I have I believe four more boxes to share with you well four four and a half you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there but like I said this is day 20 so we are focusing on our L'Occitane calendar one more time. So there is a L'Occitane US and there's L'Occitane uh, for Europe basically. So we get to one of the uh, US calendars. They had a few different variations. There are a few that I think are still available and they might be going on sale very very soon because obviously we wouldn't be able to do them for Advent. However, it's still a fantastic deal. Now I got the premium calendar which came in this cute little cube that is really neat because it's got these fun drawers. I was going to show you and I realized I had it opening up the wrong way and you can kind of see it opens up like this so you can actually have it all stacked in a in a row like this like a little apartment building or you can kind of turn it all the way inside out I just thought it was a really cool design it makes for a great decoration because it just looks like a wrapped present so you could just stick a bow on top of it honestly and kind of have that under your tree so that you could open something every single day my tree is a little bit of a like low rider this year so not a lot is fitting underneath there but that's good because there's not a lot of presents under there anyway so it's kind of nice although I do have a lot of advent boxes and 12 days boxes that are all really really big you guys wait until you see how big some of those boxes are all right so let me tell you the details about that L'Occitane calendar it was hundred and forty dollars but they did promise us that it had a two hundred and forty dollar value so essentially the average price or the average value of each of the 24 items was ten dollars but you only paid 583 so it was a really good deal you almost doubling your money on the value and got to try some of their amazing products. So this L'Occitan calendar and then of course the Beekman 1802 calendar, it's all sort of in-house products all within that brand. And then there was a lot more variety in the other boxes that we we're opening, but we'll get to those in just a second. So let me read to you the very brief description one final time. So it says, unbox our best, including travel and full-size versions of nourishing shea enriched formulas, powerful anti-aging serums and creams, deliciously scented almond body products, signature hand creams, and more. Now, one of the fun things about this box is that because all of the little drawers were basically the same size some of them were a little bit deeper like all the way through double you couldn't necessarily get really excited because like one day had a really big drawer but that is not the case with for example the Beekman calendar you can see I already pulled out day 22 over there or the glossy box one some of the drawers are all different sizes and I feel like it's a little bit um disingenuous because we've definitely opened some like big drawers or doors on some of these calendars and then the item inside is one not even that big so I don't even know if it was like made like intended to have that item or if it just was kind of how the drawers sort of fit together how they sort of Tetris together but it feels like it's um almost like a trick so anyway I kind of like when they're all the same size I know it's probably actually harder if you're a small business like literary book club putting all of that together and finding enough items that are small enough to go in there but I kind of liked it because I wasn't like sort of um, being disappointed by the size of a box for example but I am hoping that with this last three days we get some really really good gifts I feel like Luxie 10 has been pretty even across the board so we'll see we'll keep our fingers crossed for uh, day 24 so this is day 22 again this is what the little doors look like or the drawers Th these ones are really like drawers they do have a side where you can write a little note maybe re-gift it it has like a little uh, perforated pull tab I haven't pulled any of those out because I just like the uh, little deck decoration side facing out. All right, so for day 22, what did we get? We got, uh, this is their, oh, this is fancy. This is their Immortel reset. So they have these, uh, this Immortel line and it's very pretty. Like, look at this like ombre, isn't that gorgeous? So I did go ahead and collect some information about this. So this is a 0.16 ounce overnight reset serum. Now when you're buying it full size, uh, it's basically $65 
an ounce, you guys. $65 an ounce, which is crazy. So that basically means that this little guy is worth $10.40 if you go buy per ounce, right? And that is exactly what they promised us. So that was totally fine. So it says smooth skin and blue boost luminosity overnight with our best selling oil and serum. It says hit reset on dull, tired looking skin with our number one serum. Let me get it even closer so you can see all those colors for a more rested look in just one night packed with Immortel essential oil and a soothing Immortel sap like extract to help skin recover from daily stressors like long nights, screens and changes in weather. So exactly what we need these days. It says reduce the appearance of fine lines and wake up with a more luminous complexion. This best-selling serum contains 5,000 golden bubbles, so that's probably in the full size. I don't think there's 5,000 bubbles in there, um, to preserve the powerful Immortel essential oil in its finest form and is housed in luxurious refillable glass packaging, a more effective antioxidant property than vitamin E and packed with anti-aging properties. Immortel essential oil from Corsica is praised for its ability to effectively smooth and even skin while boosting radiance. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see but there are little bubbles in there but obviously it's not going to be the 5,000 that would be in the full size but it sounds really magical doesn't it? It sounds like a magical elixir so I do think that even though it's a very small little sample size just because of you know this is their one of their best-selling products I do think that is a good one for day 22 getting close to the end. All right guys let's move on to our other five calendars for day 22. So from my French country home we've got this little guy in some rose uh, wrapping paper. Let me see if I can find it. And I did want to give you guys an update because the other day I opened my, my French country home, uh, gift and my beautiful blue pen was not working. I tried all the things you guys, I shook it. I like kind of like hit it really hard. I tried writing on some, a softer surface and I could not get it going. I sent them an email and it was, I sent it to them like on a Friday afternoon. So obviously it was after hours already there in France. They got back to me on Monday morning and I had said, you know, you could send me another one, a replacement in my next uh, quarterly box. That would be great. There's like, you know what, we'll send you another one this week with the shipments that are going out. So I thought that was great customer service, what I would expect from them. And I super appreciate it. So it looks like something that's a little bit fragile because it's got some extra bubble wrap. And this is one of those uh, advent calendars where I haven't been able to open it like nicely, right? Because they have hand wrapped every single item and this one was very tightly wrapped. Oh you guys, this is pretty cool. So one of the cool things about the quarterly subscription box is there's always a vintage or antique item that they source from throughout France. So uh, earlier in the advent box, we got some little soliflor, which is actually like a single flower vase. I think it's for like a bigger bud versus like a bud vase where you have a little skinny stem, right? So it almost looked like a little egg cup or a little uh, cordial cup is what a lot of us thought it was. So it's actually four flowers, makes sense, right? Soliflor, um, and I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. I'm trying to do it with, I think, with a French accent. But I was wondering if we were going to get any more antique items in the advent calendar because we already got one, right? But of course, the advent calendar is a lot bigger than, for example, the quarterly subscription, although it's not like that much more money, let's be honest. So it's kind of like the fifth quarter for me. Uh, look at this, you guys. You're like, stop talking and show us what we got. It's an antique little jug. It's an antique oil jug. Now, they didn't give us very much information about it, but of course, they don't normally give as much information about the vintage items. What is so cool is that everyone got something like this, but there's going to be a lot of variation. Not everyone got the exact same one, so I would love to see some of the other shapes and sizes. Look at that little baby handle, and then of course we have this little cork stopper, and then you could put your oil in there. Now I do wish it had a little bit more of a pouring spout. You can see it like almost looks handmade because it's not like a perfect circle up there. Let's see what it says on the bottom. There is a stamp on the bottom. I'm trying to see. It looks like it says like Foulard, but I don't I can't see because it's a little bit worn away because again it is antique I just think that is super cute now this would make a great little bud vase you could just press the little cork there by it or of course just a little thing to have on on your uh, shelf somewhere especially if you're doing like all blues and whites or just all very like white and very monochromatic I think this is like a lovely little item so that is definitely a contender for favorite because guys don't forget I love to hear what your favorite item is for each day and we are getting really close to the end so not only do I want you to fill out that uh, multiple choice quiz to see if you can win some of these items I would also love to hear what your favorite overall calendar was and it's very different everybody has different categories they're like this is the one I like seeing you open this is the one where I would 
use the most. This one is the best value. And it's like different answers for all of those categories, which I think is like perfect. I feel like that means we got a good mixture of calendars. All right. So our next one for today is our Zotter calendar, which is our chocolate calendar. Oh boy, there is some German here. I'm going to say Heidelbeere and Zitronencreme. Handgeschopft, of course, which means hand scooped. So I'm going to say something beer and uh, it's Zitron and Creme, so I'm gonna say lemon cream, basically. So here is what that looks like. I'm not sure what the Biere is, the Heigl Biere, I don't have no idea. So we're gonna look at our little cheat sheet. Of course, that is my 20 gram bar for today. It's all the same size. That's the black flat calendar back there that's kind of peeking out. So day, ah, so, Heidelbeere is uh, blueberries. Blueberries on lemon cream, you guys. All right, so it says dark chocolate filled with blueberry ganache and lemon ganache. All right, that sounds delicious. I do like fruit with chocolate. I know some people aren't fans, but you guys, they have had such cool flavors. So even if you can't get in, you can't get in on the advent calendar for this year. You're gonna have to put it on your wish list for next year. Um, I highly suggest it. I've really enjoyed this advent calendar. I think their chocolates are delicious, but I've just really loved the very unique flavors, but you can definitely get some of these bars. The uh, 70 gram sizes, they, I think they're $8.49 each. Totally worth trying some fun flavors. And again, supporting this business that was affected by Hurricane Ian. I think they are right back on their feet again, but yes, chocolate is so great. And they are great about sending it in a uh, cool packaging. So for those of you who live in warm climates, they're in Florida, right? So they get the chocolates from Austria and then they ship them to you across the US from, from Florida. And uh, it came to me in great condition, so. All right, let's see what we have got from Beekman1802. I loved hearing all of your comments about goatee. We love all the goatee items. Let's see what our sort of, um, our sort of uh, challenges for today. It says compliment a neighbor at random today and let kindness bloom. So that's like a two-parter, but I guess the second half of it is uh, you kind of is a little laissez-faire. So um, compliment a neighbor. So that's an easy thing to do. I think by neighbor, they don't necessarily mean your actual literal neighbor. Some, some of you don't even have neighbors. I think they just mean compliment someone today and do it like sincerely. I think that is so important. I also really love to challenge people to when someone asks, how are you doing? For you to answer sincerely and honestly and not just like good good like you know hopefully it's it has a level of positivity but also a level of uh, authenticity too so let's see what we got from Beekman so here is an example so this is one of the bigger tubes that came out of our time capsule back there and then look inside there's just this little little box inside so I feel like they created the time capsule not knowing what was gonna go inside the boxes and like I think there's only been a couple times where it was like a full size bar of soap where it needed a bigger capsule I don't know uh, okay, this is cool. So of course we have our familiar little goats right there from Beekman 1802. Did you guess what it is? It's a cuticle oil or a cuticle cream. So it says pure goat milk cuticle cream farm to skin treatment fragrance free. Some of us will be very happy about that. It's 0.3 ounces. Let me see if I can open this up. They have tricky little boxes, tricky little tabs for me to get into. All right, so we just got this little glass jar, so it's just a little well for you to use. I, I do really like that it is fragrance-free. It does have vitamin E in it as well, and we all need to keep our cuticles looking good. And as I'm like saying that, I'm like, Lay, maybe the, the, don't look too closely at my nails because it's been a while since I've had them done. So that is what we got from Beekman 1802 for day 22. We have two more calendars to check out, I believe. One of them is Glossy Box, which came in this size drawer. These make sense, these longer drawers, because we do have a lot of sort of longer products in the glossy box calendar. This time it is volumize and condition and tame. Oh, it's a, like a brow serum to sort of a, it's a grand brow fill, volumizing brow gel. It's clear and it says it's infused with peptides and fibers. So I need that because I have the thinnest eyebrows. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's from like the 90s when we all plucked our eyebrows really skinny. Like, honestly, I did not. I was one of those people who had like, so I have thin eyebrows eyebrows but they like grow all over my eyelids so that's one of those things when I used to like perform as a hula dancer back in the day that's you know I grew up in Hawaii and like whenever we we did our own makeup but like whenever they were like trying to teach me how to do makeup when I was like in my early teens they were like yeah your eyebrows are like all the way down to like your eyelashes so I did pluck but very very little I just have very thin eyebrows it's 
it's a little it's a little challenging when these days the the uh, trend is to have nice thick brows all right you guys so this is what we got like I said it is from Grand Cosmetics brow fill clear so this is a full size so it does have the uh, it does have like a plastic wrapper on it so I'm not gonna necessarily pull it out but it says frame your face and give your brows a natural looking boost grand brow fill is a brush on brow gel that is infused with volumizing mini fibers to help slick back your brows and keep them in place I do need that because even though they're thin like I'll have really errant ones It says top tip brush onto the eyebrows in short upward strokes following the natural shape of your brow to define shape build and set them in place of where you want them to sit and the art RP on these this little guy and it kind of has like a little short um, sort of mascara wand basically uh, is $20 so not bad and again glossy box you guys I think takes the cake on the uh, the value out of all of our boxes and then finally finishing up today with our literary book club box which will be the one that is uh, focused on tomorrow I believe last time so all of their drawers are the same size Katie did a really great job with this first advent calendar because there are some bookish items but it is definitely very much a lifestyle advent calendar and she got most of the items if not all of them from small businesses which you know I love so from them we got again not a lot of information the only ones that really gave us a lot of information about the products is honestly glossy box my French country home and literary book club gave us like sheets that just kind of listed the items um, and then in terms of like Beekman 1802 and um, my uh, and uh, Luxie 10 I had to like kind of go ahead and look at those drawers real quick just to give you a little bit more information but it's really easy to just uh, in the search bar you can just uh, find any information you want about those little sample sizes that we are getting this is a really cute scrunchie so it's very fun it's very um, feminine so it's got like a light I think it's almost a satin scrunchie on the interior and then it's got this mesh uh, layer on the outside uh, with little embroidered flowers that is very pretty it is from a company called jojomakes.com jojomakes.com very cute scrunchie now I'm not a scrunchie wearer I probably should be considering um, because it just doesn't like like when I do a buns I used to be able to like put a scrunchie like around the bun when that was like a really cute thing to do but I don't think people do that anymore um, so it doesn't like hold the bun in place because my hair is so thin and so slippery unfortunately but it's really cute so I do know a lot of people who can rock a messy bun with a cute scrunchie and just have it around their wrist and do that whole like what was that what was that style like visco girls like visco girls used to do the scrunchie which I feel like that doesn't exist anymore I feel like that app doesn't probably even exist anymore but I know scrunchies are never they're never gonna go away we think scrunchies were like oh scrunchies are so 80s and so 90s like scrunchies I don't think will ever go away in some way shape or form anyway you guys let's go over everything that we got today and you can tell me in the comments below what your favorite was and do be looking I should be having that uh, I should be having that quiz listed for you as a link very very soon so from L'Occitane we got our Immortel night serum very very pretty from my French country home I got this amazing vintage little jug ceramic with the little cork I'm hoping that cork doesn't split from our Zotter chocolate calendar we we got the blueberry and lemon cream in dark chocolate amazing from Beekman we got a nice cuticle cream non fragrance from a glossy box we got our I'll show you the box cut our grand brow fill little uh, wand there and then finally from my French country home we got this adorable scrunchie so I do love the scrunchie even though I'm not a scrunchie user I think that is one of my favorite items today and of course like not surprising I think this is pretty awesome guys love to hear from me in the comments below we have two more days to go on the 24th I know you're so busy this season on the 24th we'll be opening two of the drawers from glossy box because they're the only calendar that actually did 25 days and then like I said starting on the 25th it is the 12th more days with Noelle. I hope that you can stand it, you guys, but I think it'll be fun because we'll have a new round of boxes. I will see you all then. If not, I will see you maybe even sooner this afternoon when my regular unboxing posts.